Hey everyone, it's Ravenhawk6910 reporting once again. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at MTH's latest run of the General Electric AC4400CW with a twist. We'll be taking a look at Norfolk Southern's class unit of the AC44C6M rebuild program, the blue and gray horse bonnet, the 4000. However, before we get started, I need to put up a quick disclaimer. The pros and cons in this video are not representations of my personal opinion. They attempt to be objective in nature and as such are either community opinions or facts about the models that I can represent on camera. So please don't assume that anything in this video is my personal opinion unless I state so otherwise. Additionally, it's important to note that I don't speak on behalf of MTH and am not endorsed by any company. I'm an independent reviewer and the work I do does not reflect the thoughts of any companies in question. Got it? Get it? Good. Let's get started. The AC4400CW is a model of AC traction locomotives built by General Electric Transportation Systems, otherwise known as GE. 2,598 of these units rolled out of GE's Erie, Pennsylvania factory between 1993 and 2004, when they were replaced by the ES44AC. Norfolk Southern originally chose not to purchase AC44s, opting instead for the DC Traction C40-9 and C44-9W models. In 2015, NS began a rebuild program of its standard cab Dash 9s with AC Traction, new Jeevo style wide cabs, and a new name, AC44C6M. Internally, the AC44C6Ms have new underfloor air conditioners, cab signals, DPU systems, positive train control, and ECP braking ability, a significant technological improvement from the C40-9. While most of them are in standard NS Black, the first two units released for service were the 4000 and the 4001. These units were painted in a special blue and gray war bonnet style paint scheme, showing them as the first units in the rebuild program. The 4000, built from NS-9-8799, originally was released with gold NS whiskers and blue logos. These were later changed to black and white. Despite these changes, rail fans compare the two units to that of the blue and gold war bonnets worn by the Delaware and Hudson's Alco PAs and Baldwin Shark Nose Diesels. Other names given to the schemes include Horse Bonnet, because of the fact that the bonnet section of the scheme is the horse mane from the NS logo. MTH's model of the 4000 was offered in MTH's 2016 Volume 2 catalog and was delivered in January of 2017. The model features MTH's DCS command system, Protosound 3.0 sound system, and a fan-driven smoke unit. There are three ways to operate the engine. MTH's DCS system is the preferred method, however you can also run the engine conventionally with a transformer and some track, or you can operate the engine with DCC if you choose to run the engine as a two-rail model. The AC44C6M features a lot of nice details and features, so let's go in for a closer look at those details and then we'll run the model around for a little bit. The pilot on this model is very standard for an MTH unit. The snowplow comes in a plastic bag and must be screwed on by the buyer. There are separately applied MU hoses and a coupler cut bar. In the middle is the MTH protocoupler, which can be fired from the DCS remote. On the nose of the model, we see a difference between this model and other MTH production AC4400s. In the center of the cab is a hole for a nose-mounted headlight. NS orders locomotives with high-mounted headlights instead of nose-mounted lights like other Class 1 railroads. GE, however, leaves the nose in the hole for a nose-mounted headlight on all NS units and simply fills in the back with a plate. All of NS's AC44C6Ms use Jeevo cabs and as such have the nose cavity like that on NS ES44ACs. MTH's model of the AC44C6M features this hole which adds a lot to the realism of the model. On the side of the cab we have the road number and the special DC to AC logo for the rebuild program. In the center we have a special AC traction logo which is actually a carryover from Conrail's SD70 and SD80 Max. Back towards the dynamic brake section, we see the horse mane, which earned the engines the nickname of horse bonnets, as well as the many grills and hood doors. In the center of the long hood, we see a very nicely done Norfolk Southern logo. Additionally, all of the handrails on the models are metal, as typical MTH production. The radiator section on the model has a lot of nicely done grills, and on the rear, we have another NS logo on the rear of the hood. However, there are no ditch lights on the rear deck, even though on the real NS4000 there are ditch lights on here for long hood forward operations. On the roof of the engine we see the PTC antenna array, which is very nicely done. Midway down the model we have a 5 chime horn and the exhaust stack, which leads down to a fan-driven smoke unit. To fill the smoke unit, simply pour smoke fluid directly down the stack. 
The top of the radiator housing can be removed to reveal the engine controls on the model. We've got the master volume pod, the smoke unit output volume pod, the switch to toggle between DCS and DCC, and the switch to toggle between 3-rail and 2-rail operations. Okay, we've taken a look at all the details, now let's fire up the engine and listen to the sounds and then we'll run it around for a bit. Here's the horn. Here's the bell. Here's some of the crew talk. Alright, we're ready to roll it out. Now in a few minutes I'll stop it and play the passenger freight announcement sequence.
All right, that just about takes care of this video. If you're interested in getting one of these models, they retail for an MSRP of $499.95. Although if you go through a good MTH dealer, you'll likely get some kind of a discount off of that price. I purchased mine from Legacy Station in Lilburn, Georgia. So if you want to give them a call or shoot them an email, they'll likely be able to get one for you. You can find them online at www.legacystation.com or call them at 770-339-7780. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. This is Ravenhawk6910, signing off.